All right, in this video, I'm going to hope to show you um, the electrical connections that I'm going to say caused or were responsible for this earthquake. Um, they're given away by the clouds. I think that they're always there and visible. And if there happens to be either particulates or actual clouds in the way, they'll, you, you'll see, they, they give it away. Um, but here it is. This was the 8.3, um, about 2,300 hours. And the station is La Paz, Bolivia. And you can see it on the map there, that blue triangle. It's pretty close. And since it was over two days, this is the second day, the continuation, and then a few aftershocks rumbling through. And then this is the earthquake in Beijing. So you can see it got, took about 45 minutes to get there. And then that's the signature. And you can see the blue triangle is now clear on the other side of the world, other side of the Pacific Ocean. All right, just uh, so now I'm going to show you a bunch of satellite images that were taken before, during, and after um, the earthquake from the day yesterday through the night when it happened through infrared. And then uh, the day today, we can see that the connections are still there. All right, so the first one here is going to be from yesterday. All right, so the timestamp is on the bottom, 1445. And looking to the left of that, September 16th. So this is the day before. Or I guess that day. It happened at 2345, which we're going to run up to like 2200, so an hour and a half before the earthquake. Where my cursor is there, that's roughly where it occurred. Just about right there. So we're going to scroll through these images. And pay attention for straight lines. You're going to see them trailing across the continent there. We're going to zoom in on it after this. But you can see it's connected to that weather system that is offshore. You can see that the lines are trailing back over the continent, connecting that area. So we can see here a different satellite. This is infrared. And this is 17, 20, 23, 45 right there. It was <clears throat> 10 minutes roughly around when the earthquake happened. So let's roll through again. And this actually, sorry, before we do that, this is the connection visible satellite down into Antarctica. So you can see it's, it's all connected down there. So even though this is an earthquake in central Chile, this is where it's originating from. So here we go. The red blob in the Andes right around the earthquake, watch that. So this is, we're going to go backwards and forwards. So this is six hours before the earthquake, watch right there. Three hours before, and then right before, and then right after. You can see it builds up to it, and then the clouds just disappear. The pressure is released when that earthquake happens. But you can see it's still all connected to the storm trailing down into the South Atlantic. And let's zoom in again, <clears throat> very close to it, as close as I could get anyway. And we're... I, Again, looking at yesterday, before it happened, and right there is where the earthquake is. So we're looking at the top left-hand portion of the screen here. And as we run it through, look back directly east. You're going to see these, the clouds are connected there. There's two, two batches of clouds that are connected. Um, I'll try to highlight it with the cursor there. One bank of clouds goes that way, and then the other bank of clouds is at a diagonal, still connecting to the same exact point where the earthquake happened. So let's run it through. You can see they're all connected right there. Different angle, different... <clears throat> uh, it's actually to the... It's just off screen to the south. It's not pictured. But you can see at this where I'm highlighting the connection with my cursor. It's going through there. And then this was today, 917. So... Uh, Look to the bot. Look to the bottom right. You may see some lines there. Let's zoom in on that and roll this through. So this was today after the earthquake, but I still think these are the same exact lines. The teleconnections connecting the storm to the east. You know these clouds are the trailing clouds of that storm, connecting it over that mountain, over those mountains, to the earthquake. And you can see the lines don't move. The clouds move through the lines, but the lines are stationary. So this is today, after it happened, and it's, I still think it's connected. There's still aftershocks going on there. The clouds are still overhead here. You know, the wind is blowing. It rained last night. The lightning the, the last two nights, just for the nights, has been ridiculous. 
a lot of lightning, not a lot of thunder. It's cloud to cloud lightning, but it's it's like one every two or three seconds. I mean, the sky just is flashing like a strobe light for the last two nights. And then during the day, nothing. Just cloudy, unsettled. And then nighttime, highly electrically connected over my head right now. 